here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're gonna go over an inventory unit. This one is available sitting here ready to go. This is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye four horse gooseneck. Um, it's got a couple upgrades on it that we threw on this trailer. It's got a really cool double tack setup that I'm excited to show you guys. Um, we'll just kind of walk you guys around and show you this trailer. First thing you'll notice is this big tack room door up here on your passenger side. Um, the cool thing about this double tack is you'll have a matching door on the other side. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, but on your door, you will have a four tier swing out blanket rack. I really like that Logan does these blanket racks on here. Not that they're anything super, super special fancy, but I really like that they engineered it to where you can put your blankets on from the outside, slide them on super easy, pull them off super easy and then store them over here against this wall. The reason I like that is a lot of times if you try to put blanket bars on a trailer, they'll leave them stationary just like that. You can't move them or anything like that. And once you get one or two sets of blankets on here, it gets pretty tight and it makes it super hard to get blankets in and off these. But with it out, you can pull them on, put, or put them on, pull them off super, super easy, and then push them over here against this wall for storage, which will also keep them secure so that way they're not falling and stuff like that. The other cool thing I like about it is there is a sliding type window right above them. You've been riding all day, trail riding all day, rodeoing, whatever it may be, and you get some nice sweaty blankets in here and you don't want it steaming up or stinking up your dressing room, you can always crack this window while you're driving back home or back to your ranch, wherever you're going. It'll keep nice air flowing over those blankets um, and keep them nice and dried out for you guys. Below that blanket bar, we do have this brush box. Um, it is a draining brush box, which I think is really cool. So you'll see that in the bottom of it, there is a marine grade carpet. So it's super easy that if you get a leaky bottle or it freezes or something like that and breaks, you can always spray this carpet off, dry it out, and throw it back in here. But there are drains in each four corners of this box. So again, if anything leaks, you get a bottle that freezes and explodes, it's going to drain out of there and not just sit in there and make all your other stuff nasty. Then here in your door, it is your swing out saddle rack. It is a four tier swing out saddle rack. Um, these are non-adjustable. That's where they're kind of going to be. You can remove them if you kind of want to. This is a four horse. You're going to have eight saddle racks. So if you only want to haul, you know, six, you can always remove one off each side or two off each side or whatever you want to give yourself a little more room. But these do run on a gas piston. They'll kind of pull themselves in when you let them start pulling. And then when you pull them out, they'll kind of help you to a certain point pull out. The reason I like them is because if you think about it, you'll be standing here saddling your horses brushing, bridling, blanketing your horses right here, and everything's right here next to your horse. You can tie out right here, pull blankets, pull saddles, pull brushes, and it's all right here. Really effective for you guys to use. The other thing I like about it is that it swings out so easy, it gives you that extra room to get in there and get stuff and not be trying to squeeze by a saddle rack that's extruding out into your door. So in the tack room of this trailer, here's your other swing out saddle rack. It's going to mirror that one we just looked at. But you'll see because of doing this dual tack setup, we made this tack room a little bigger just so we can fit the swing outs on both sides. But it's going to give you so much more storage back here in the back of this trailer because we did that. You're going to get about an extra three foot on this back wall than you would normally, um, which gives you room for a water tank over in that corner. Cool thing I like about having that water tank, like I kind of talked, saddling your horses out that door. You can run your hose right out that door and water your horses and buckets on either side of this trailer with that water tank, which I think is super cool. Up here, we do have bridle hooks running the whole side of this partition wall. It is carpeted behind those bridle hooks. The reason we do that is because if you have conchos on your head stalls, bits, anything like that, scraping up this trailer, um, we want it rubbing on that carpet and not the trailer. That way it keeps your trailer looking nice, it keeps your bits and your conchos looking nice and stuff like that. Below that, I want to point out the vortex lining on this trailer. As we walk around, I'll probably point out a couple more places that it is vortex lined. What that is, is it's a super hard, almost rhino line material, and they pretty much put it on anywhere that can get scratched, rubbed, dented, dinged up. That way you're dinting and dinging that rhino lining and not the actual metal on this trailer, which again, is just going to keep this trailer looking good for years to come. And you get to see a little bit of that action on that piston right there. So this is what operates your saddle rack. Um, I like them because you're not pulling the full weight of your saddles. Right now it's pretty easy, but you get four big heavy saddles on there. The saddle racks can get kind of hard to pull in and out. And all, But putting that gas piston on there just makes it super easy for, to operate for you guys. Um, again, making it just a little more user friendly for whoever's using this trailer. Up here in the nose of the trailer, it's pretty standard stuff. It is fully carpeted. Um, you do have a light up there. If you ever want to throw a mattress in here, you can more than easily do so. You have two windows you can open up to get some airflow. 
or if you want to think you maybe want to add an AC on here and put some outlets in here in the living quarters, that's something we can do for you guys here on the shop. Um, we can turn this into a little weekender package for you guys if that's something you're interested in. This trailer's set up with a big enough tack room that I think it'd be easy to do so. Again, coming out on the driver's side now, um, it's going to be a mirror image to what you guys just saw on the passenger side. You will have your swing out blanket bars, that same brush box we just looked at, and then again, that same saddle rack that I was showing you guys on the other side. Four tiers, all removable, you can kind of do whatever you want there. Favorite thing about Logan trailers um, is probably that a window system's on these trailers. The reason I like them so much is you can operate them with one hand. They're big, heavy duty windows, I mean, they operate super smooth. The main reason I like them though is because you're not reaching for a latch. A lot of times you'll have to reach for a latch here at the top of the window, the sides, something like that, and they can be pretty hard to reach, especially if you're a shorter individual. What Logan did is they put a bar down here in the middle, so pretty much if you can reach any height on this window and just grab this bar, you can pull straight down and the window drops. Cool thing I like about it is they did the same thing with their jail bars. If you can reach this middle jail bar on this jail barred window, you just pull down and it falls the same. I like it because it's super smooth, super easy to operate. The other thing I like about this trailer is it, with it being 610 wide, you can easily jump up on the running boards after you drop your windows, feed your horses, check on your horses, untie your horses before you offload. It just makes it super easy, super fast, and super convenient with these Logan windows. You'll see right here is a little grommet or a female for there. Um, these windows are made to operate down, so if you're traveling and you want to get some cool air flowing for your horses, these windows are made to lock in place and you can travel with them down like that, which I think is super handy. Another thing about these windows is we talk a lot about airflow on these horse trailers. Um, I showed you guys a couple options there with the big drop down and then you can drop your jail bars too if you need. But we also put a sliding type window in each one of these as well. That way, you know, if it's a really kind of mild morning, but you don't want full airflow for your horses to get them kind of chilled off, you can always close these windows up, slide one of these open, and then you're getting just a little bit of clean air for your horses, but not a whole lot. The other thing I like about those little sliding types is a lot of time when you feed your horses, whether it be after a show, after a rodeo, you're headed home and you want to give them some feed. Um, if you drop these windows all the way down, it tends to get pretty windy in there and it can blow that hay around, blow that dust around and get pretty stuffy in there for your horses. I like that you can always just close these up, open this little slider so they're still getting some air but not enough air that it's really messing up your horse in there, getting hay and dust and stuff floating around. Underneath these windows um, are these really slick aluminum wheels. It's really going to pop. I want to show you guys a color on this trailer on the other side with the sun hitting it. But with these wheels and that color, um, you guys will see it on the other side. This, the wheels really pop with the color on this trailer. And on top of that, You'll notice there is a little green tab on each one of these tires, and what's that, what that means is that these tires are nitrogen filled. Um, by filling them with nitrogen, you're eliminating about 30% of oxygen. Your normal air mixture in a tire is about 70% nitrogen, 30% oxygen. So by filling them 100% with nitrogen, you bring that mixture up to about 99% nitrogen and 1% oxygen. And what that does is it keeps these tires from fluctuating in PSI. So if you get a really cold morning, you're not out there sticking air in it because you're molecules condensed in a really warm afternoon you're not pulling air out to keep them from popping. These tires are going to really really stay steady with their PSI as you travel down the road. Coming around the load side of this trailer again I'll point out that rhino lighting or that vortex lining for you guys. You'll see it on the outside here, on these back doors, and all the way around the inside of this trailer. Again, it's just to help protect this trailer. If you have a horse, let's say you load it in that fourth stall back here that likes to kick, maybe rub up on these doors or something like that, they're going to rub up on this vortex lining and not your actual metal. That way, if you, you know, get some dents and dings, you can really easily repair this first, replacing a whole sheet of metal or a whole frame. The floor in this trailer, it is a wood floor. And again, you will see that Vortex lining product on that wood floor. So what they did is they took an already great product, which is a wood floor, which a lot of people love. Um, with the wood, you don't really have to worry about it rotting as much as you would an aluminum floor. So with aluminum, you have to wash it out pretty consistently or you can get some erosion. With this wood, um, I still suggest you guys wash it, but it's going to hold up a lot better if you're not cleaning your trailer on a regular basis. And on top of that, they went ahead and Vortex coated it just to give you guys that extra you know, hardiness and longevity in this trailer. It is just rubber mats on top of that vortex lined wood. Um, if any of you guys have ever seen, most of Logan's Living Quarters trailers have a product called Polylast in it. 
Um, if you ever want to upgrade in the floor in this trailer, that's something I highly suggest is looking into the poly last. And what it is, you can do it over the wood, which is super awesome. They'll pour it and it pretty much turns it into a solid rubber floor that drains. Um, it keeps it really clean in here for your horses and also really easy for you guys to clean as well. So if you're considering this trailer um, but are kind of cautious about the rubber mats, maybe don't want to pull mats all the time, I would condition you guys to look at that poly last system. Here on these dividers in the Logan Coach trailers, I always show you guys this last divider first just because it makes a lot of sense. Um, with this divider out, it will latch here really easy. I really like Logan's latch systems. Um, their latch system, they're recessed so your horses can't really get cut on them, they can't get dinged on them, and they latch super, super tight. Um, the other reason I like them is because, I mean, they're super easy to run. They're really quiet for your horses. Um, but the reason I show you guys this last stall right here is because this is a telescoping divider. So what that does, um, you'll see right now with the door open, there's no way you can shut that door with the divider positioned like it is. So what Logan went ahead and did is they made it telescoping so you can slide this in, still clear that wall right there, and be able to close that door. The reason they do that is because if you want to haul a four-wheeler, an ATV, or UTV, or something like that, you're not pulling dividers out. You're not having to remove this divider to get the back door shut. They want it to be as fluid as possible for you guys. So you can take all your dividers in this trailer, pin them over here to the wall like so. You don't have to remove them. And then you can fit your side-by-side -side up in here and go side-by-side -side in your trail riding or whatever you want to do. And you unload your side-by-side -side and you just unpin your stalls and you're ready to haul horses again. So it's a really, really fluid trailer which makes things super easy for you guys. Talking about airflow a little bit on the outside of this trailer. Here on the inside, you'll notice there is an air vent in each one of these stalls. Again, you're gonna have lots of options in this trailer, whether it be controlling airflow from the outside or using these two-way vents to pull air in or pull air out or using your butt windows here or your bus windows on the back to control your air. So you're gonna have lots of options how you wanna regulate your airflow for your horses, which I think is super important. Along these air vents, you'll kinda of see a bow in this roof right down the middle. The reason we bow that roof in this trailer and many other trailers is because it keeps that water flowing off the roof or sitting up there. A lot of times when you seal the roof on a trailer, you end up with about, I don't I would say a half a centimeter lip where they seal it with the caulking or whatever product that trailer manufacturer uses. And a lot of times that water will pool up around those seals and tend to rot them out here pretty quick. So by putting a bow in it, it just lets that water flow off nice and free and keeps your roof last or your roof seals lasting a lot longer than they normally would. Um, we talked a little bit about sliders here on the front side of this trailer, um, on the smaller drop down windows. There also are slider type windows on the hip side that I'll show you guys from the outside. Again, regulating airflow is very important. So you're going to have the ability to lock and unlock, unlock these and be able to operate them and get that air flowing from the head side out the tail side so your horses get nice, clean, cool air flowing. There is also an LED stall light in each one of these stalls. Um, you can Back here where our camera's sitting, there's a switch. You can flick all these lights on with one switch and light them all up. There's also an individual switch in each one of these stalls. So let's say you don't want a whole bunch of light or you're only hauling one horse up front and you don't need all four on. You can always flick that switch back there and turn three of them off and really regulate your light to see how much light you're actually going to need back here, which works best for you. Up top right here where you're going to be loading, there is a little LED spotlight. Again, giving you guys enough light while you're loading horses, you're not having to worry about them not seeing what they're doing and also you not being able to see some stuff going on. It just helps keep you safe and your horse safe to have that little extra light while you're jumping horses on and off this trailer. Moving around to your passenger side or your tail side of this trailer, again, you can see those bus windows I opened there at the back. You're going to get clean flow, flow and air like that, but then you also do have these tinted windows up front. I wanted you guys to be able to see the tint on them a little bit. It just kind of keeps the sun down in there for your horses. There's a light tint to the windows, but I think it's just a little, a great little extra feature. Talked a little bit on the other side how I wanted you guys to see the color of this trailer pop with these aluminum wheels. Um, if you'll see right now, the sun's hitting those wheels. They're popping really nice. But you'll also see the color on this trailer. It's not your typical, you know, white or your charcoal that you'll see from Logan. This is Logan's slate gray color, and I really like it. What it almost is is a gray color with a little bit of a blue hue to it, and I think it looks really, really clean and really, really slick and something a little different that we're not used to normally doing. It's a really, really cool color on this trailer, and I think it turned out really good. You'll notice up there, 
At the top of this trailer, we will have button lights about every five feet running the length of this trailer. So the lights on this trailer will really pop in the nighttime as well. So it'll be a really cool, a really good looking trailer for you guys. I want to shut the door so you guys see a little bit more of that color I was talking about. Again, just a really cool color on this trailer. Up here under the nose, kind of where you'll be hooking onto your truck, I'll talk a little bit about some features. My favorite feature pretty much is that this spare tire right here, you'll notice, well you can't really see it right now, but the front side of that, it's the same aluminum wheel that's on the rest of this trailer. I really like that they do that and don't just put, you know, just a steel wheel right there. That way if you do have a blowout, have a tire go flat or something like that and you do swap it, you're not looking funky with another wheel that's not matching or something like that. You will have a matching wheel, which will keep your trailer looking nice while you're traveling to show, rodeo, whatever it may be. Up here at the front, we do kind of have your standard bulldog coupler. Um, it is adjustable. Also, we do have your safety chains, your breakaway cable to your breakaway battery system. So what that breakaway battery system does, if this trailer ever comes unhooked for any reason, it's gonna pull that pin out of there, lock the brakes upon this trailer and stop the trailer so it's not rolling fr freely down the road that you're traveling on. Again, it's a really cool little trailer. I think it'll fit someone perfectly. It is available, which is rare these days. Um, it is sitting here and ready to go for you guys. If you're interested in this trailer or any other trailers we have available, again, this trailer stock number is 5N. 210576. It's a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye Four Horse Gooseneck. If you're interested in this trailer, some other trailers we have sitting here, or maybe some we have coming in, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner. We're here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Our phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.